as the world starts reopening after months of social distancing and strict lockdowns to stop the spread of COVID-19, spikes of infection are returning. In China, where the virus began, Beijing says that there's been 137 new cases in the past week after none were reported for 57 days. Lockdown measures have returned in the worst hit neighborhoods of the Chinese capital. Some bars and restaurants in the U.S. state of Florida had to close again just a week after they'd reopened. It set a single day record of 2,783 new cases on Tuesday. Five other states also reported record new numbers. Back in Europe, Sweden has now passed 5,000 deaths from the virus and quarantine has been reimposed in Germany as authorities track a fresh cluster of infections, as Mary Colombel reports. Back in lockdown in Berlin, authorities acted swiftly to reimpose quarantine on 369 households in this complex of apartments in a suburb. It came after 57 people tested positive for COVID-19, the most worrying jump in cases since restrictions were eased. A particular concern is the number of occupants in some of the homes. We realized quite soon that all of these apartment blocks were affected and we had to put them under quarantine. What's also new and concerning is that the housing conditions are extremely cramped. It's not easy with eight people in a two-room apartment to stay out of each other's way or be locked in for two weeks. And there's been a new outbreak involving hundreds of suspected cases at a meat plant in Westphalia where several slaughterhouses were hit hard during the height of the crisis. In all of Europe, we're trying, even as we find ourselves in a relatively good situation, not to let our guard down. There's a risk that cases could spike again at any moment. We need to be vigilant, because the virus hasn't been eliminated from Europe, right? It's still circulating. The spike in cases will be the first major test of Germany's newly launched tracing app, which works on a voluntary basis. Close to 7 million people were reported to have downloaded it within 24 hours. Mary Columbell, Euronews.